Hi, my name's Amelia. I'm an occupational therapist, as well as the owner and founder of Higher Standards Caregiver Training. And I'm here today to introduce you to the first video in a series of videos all about patient lift safety. Now, patient lifts are also called Hoyer lifts. Hoyer is actually a name brand, and it's basically become synonymous with patient lifts, and so the two terms are often used interchangeably. But the reason that we want to bring you this series is there are a lot of misconceptions and myths about how to safely use a patient lift. So we want to do our best to help try to dispel some of those. So what we're going to be talking about today is actually use of the brakes on the Hoyer. Now this can be very confusing and it is actually one of those things that can be a complicated decision to make about when to use the brakes and not to use the brakes. But often people are trained that 100% of the time when they are lifting someone with the lift, that the brakes should be on. In fact, that's actually not true. What happens when you are lifting someone with the lift is that person's weight may or may not be centered over the base of support of the Hoyer. If it's not centered over the base of, the, of support and those brakes are locked, then what can happen is the Hoyer can actually tip, causing a very severe injury both to the person being lifted and also potentially to the person who is operating that lift. So instead, what we actually wanna do is leave those brakes unlocked. And the reason is that that way, the, the Hoyer itself or the patient lift can actually roll and recenter the weight of the person over the base of support so that the lift then does not tip. If you have more questions, if you want kind of a more comprehensive soup to nuts on how Hoyers work, their functions, their parts, safety issues, then we offer a complete online course at Higher Standards Caregiver Training that you can check out right now at higherstandardscaregivertraining.com. Also, please make sure that you are following and subscribing to this wherever you're watching this video so that you can make sure to get the next update on when the next video in the series is released. Until then, take care. Thank <laughs> you.